streets. But for the people out here who want to get out of the streets, unlike Jack right now, where can they even go? I headed to the Gospel Rescue Mission, one of the only homeless shelters in Grants Pass that's often criticized for having strict rules and for mandatory church attendance. While this is one of the only shelters in town largely funded by Christian donors, can anyone that's homeless come live here? And why is it so hated amongst homeless advocates and people currently living on the streets? I'm here with... Brian Boteller, Director of the Gospel Rescue Mission in Grants Pass. Okay. So for 41 years, we have been working to help people leave homelessness. Um, really, our program is, is, is really gunning for the guy that says, I want to leave homelessness behind. And uh, with, with some effort, I can do it. And, and maybe for some of them, it takes two, three or four times. You know, I have a, I have a gal that just graduated. Uh, she's graduating this week with a sustainable income and a home who was exactly like, exactly like some of the people in your other videos, you know, when you're looking at the issues of addiction and sure. stuff like that. And, and, uh, but we always believe that people are capable of changing. Everybody that, you know, stays here, uh, kind of helps contribute to their stay in one way or another. Including a strict set of rules and responsibilities that everyone had to perform in this organization's mission to reintegrate people into a job setting after they leave the shelter. But they offer some nice amenities, including a gym, laundry machines, and a dining room that they help operate and maintain. We don't sure. think of them as rules. We just think of them as And this is one of the rules life. right here. And this is like, hey, listen, if you want to be a part of this, yep. you got to lock in. This is a place where all these guys get Jesus jammed down their throat. Throats, right? It's all happening. You talk to me. You say that facetiously, obviously, yeah. but that's that is the narrative to oh, some folks. Guess what? It's all church people that are paying your way here, man. They're, sure. they're, they're you know, I'm, I'm not asking them to, you know, again get dunked underwater or anything like that. So no forced just, baptism. Yeah, no, no forced baptism. But what they get is about a half hour to forty minute Bible study in the morning, half hour to forty minute Bible study in the evening. They can still make their own decision. I have plenty of people who enter here agnostic and leave here agnostic. Sure. And as I saw this guy down the hall. I wanted to hear his honest review of living here. Uh, so when did you come in here? Uh, about eight days ago. Okay, this is fresh, right? Yeah. I enjoy it here. I enjoy all the guys here. Brother, you don't have to say that just because I'm here, okay? Uh -huh. here. <laughs> so cover your ears. Let me yeah. ask him. Yeah, yeah. So eight days ago you came in here. Where'd you come from? Uh, the street. Okay. I was actually, I was thrown out of my house and I'm doing wonderful. Okay. I, I can't believe it. How, how, how good that I'm doing how how nice the people are here and i enjoy it i, enjoy, oh. I used to be on drugs and since i've been here i don't need them so you've been sober last eight days or a little bit more before? eight or nine days so just you've just been raw dog in the sobriety yeah Whew. you're actively sort of i don't know was... i get along with the staff yeah. i get along with the the, the inmates here well, EMH, I'm sorry. But while this place might be a godsend, no pun intended, for those willing to comply with the rules and responsibilities it comes with, the most surprising aspect of this tour might just be these vacant beds. So you can see everything with no bedding in here is vacant space. So if we were to walk to the park right now, let's yep. say you and I, yep. say, Hey, we got 20 vacant beds. Yep. If you guys are willing to follow the rules and regulations, you guys would take them in today? What is the yes, likelihood no. any of them would take you up on that offer? Um, I would say, I would argue 99% chance that they're going to say no. And what is the biggest reason they have for saying no? Because the bed's here, right? They don't have no. to be out in the wilderness. The, the first thing they'll tell you is that there's rules. Okay. They've taught to think of those things as barriers. They've been, they've been, it's been repeated ad nauseum to them about how bad these things are. So if I come in and I fully do basically whatever you tell me to do yeah. and I withstand the, the rules and regulations of yeah. the, pro the, the program, yeah. I will leave, get a job, end up in a house, yeah. back on my Gonna feet. Yeah. So 33% of your people yeah. have succeeded in that capacity. Yeah. Not only that, after 30 days in this room, they will have been sober for 30 days, which means that they can pass a UA for a job. Now. Oh, shoot. While there are empty beds available for people that are willing to partake in the programs and comply with the rules here, once these beds fill up, where else will the remaining home?